So congrats to you both on the film. Thank you. And you know, I was rooting for the Sierra Veronica friendship way more than I was for Sierra finding her true love. <laughs> and I want to know from both of you what you think is so dynamic about this relationship in this film. I just I love like the evolution of it. You know, I think both characters really grow um, through their friendship. I think they hold each other accountable in a lot of ways that are kind of <laughs> yeah. painful. Yeah. Um, but you know, make them better humans in the end. Exactly. They're both struggling with their identities, and but at the same time. And you would think they're so in such different worlds, but then they are actually very similar, yeah, absolutely. which is pretty powerful. It's beautiful, actually, to see you know both scopes of it. And actually, while I was watching this, it took me back to my high school days. Uh -huh. You know, you're simultaneously trying to figure out who you are and then also trying to impress people. And so if you could go back in time to yourself before high school, what's a word of advice that you would give yourself? Realize that high school isn't the most important thing and that it will end. Yeah. And then things will get better. Like it's almost over. It's almost over. Definitely. It's like, it's, it's temporary, but like when you're in the middle of it, it's like high school is the rest of my life, you yeah. know? Like, and also, I mean, like hormones and emotions yeah. are like so heightened. Everything yeah. feels so dramatic. Um, Surround yourself by good people. Yeah, definitely. I think spend less time worried about what other people think of you and more time like focusing on yourself and like how to make yourself a, a better person. Yeah. It's so beautifully said. It was and so beautifully said. It really was. And, and I was thinking about one of the quotes, it's my favorite quotes in the film, it's talking about being vulnerable and allowing yourself to be vulnerable. And I'm, I wanted to know what that means to both of you guys, like in mm -hmm. present life, being vulnerable. I mean, I think being vulnerable like implies that there is risk, you know? Like if you're opening, opening up your heart and yourself to other people, you are allowing for the possibility of being hurt, but like, mm -hmm. otherwise it's not living at all, right? If you never lay your heart on the line, like, you'll you'll never know. You won't be able to experience emotion to its fullest. So, yeah, just be honest. Um, it, it might be scary, but like the right people will find you and exactly. you'll know that they love you for you and not for an image that you're putting on. It's beautiful. That's so beautiful. <laughs> She's just- No, I'm sorry. No, <laughs> it's, so, it's so true, that's exactly it being open and taking the risk and trusting. Mm -hmm. Trust is a big thing. Speaking of trust, <laughs> so if either one of you, if the roles were reversed and either one of you two were catfished, would you guys be as understanding about it? Uh, I, I mean, would in the end if I, if I heard the whole situation. I think so too. I mean, I, I think obviously it would be hurtful, um, but I think if I really got to know the person and, and yeah. understood their reasons for doing it, I don't know if I would want to be their friend, but I, <laughs> I'd... I don't think I would I would hate them. I think that I'm I'm prone to like compassion, I guess. Forgiveness. Yeah. Well you were yeah. forgiven in the film. Yeah. Yeah, I was. Yeah. And I think and grace is a really powerful thing, you know? Like we all make dumb decisions and like especially in high school. Like we we all do a lot of things that we shouldn't have done. Um, and so when somebody when somebody shows you grace and like shows you like mercy and forgiveness, I think that's a really powerful learning experience. Yeah. It's a great learning experience. And what, aside from all the things that you just mentioned right now, what's a takeaway that you both took away from this film and being a part of it? Mm. Still to this day, not um, being so afraid and obsessed of trying to fit in, I think, and just being true to who you are. Mm. Still, like, a constant reminder. Yeah. And also, people are, like, rarely what they seem. Um, <laughs> yes. It's so it's so easy to judge. To judge. Um, but, you know, like, sometimes the greatest relationships are with people that you might not have even talked to if you hadn't, like, given them a chance. So, yeah, take everything with, like, a grain of salt and be willing to pursue relationships. We need to give her her own book. You, <laughs> I've been telling books. her. I have been telling her. And a talk show while we're at it. Maybe you should start your own podcast. You should start your own podcast for everybody that's in yes. high school going through all those experiences. Oh I would love to. That'd be great. You really should. That'd be fun. This is the start of something. Yeah, yeah right. <laughs> I'll credit you. <laughs> I'll listen in. Congratulations to you both. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. Can we get a photo with you?